I, uh, I'm going to make this nice, short, and pretty damn sweet because uh, I know that Alexandra Wallace is probably receiving a lot of hate videos. Um, to be honest, I don't blame you all for posting your videos and your opinions. I actually watched the majority of them and I have to say that most people give a pretty good opinion, pretty damn good arguments as to why they have a problem with what Alexandra Wallace said. Now, mind you, um, freedom of speech and all into consideration, I <laughs> have to say that this one kind of, you know, kind of crosses the line. We're all entitled to what we have to say, we're all entitled to our own opinions, but there is a point where it just, it, it gets to a point where there are some things that you just shouldn't say, and you know what, lashing out racism about an <laughs> entire continent is a little bit risque, especially when you're completely and totally ignorant and you don't necessarily know what you're talking about. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and you know what, this may stir up some controversy, but I, I can even go ahead and say that, you know what, I don't think that Alexandra Wallace intended to have this much of a response to her video. I actually believe that all she intended to do was just, you know, give a genuine concern about people talking on the cell phone in their library. And you know what, maybe it was that she had only seen Asian people, Asian people, in the library talking on their cell phone. However, it still doesn't uh, give her the right to go home and make a completely and totally racist video, you know. Um, I think that before you start talking about something, you should know the facts. And the facts are, A, not all people that move here from Asia are Japanese, nor are they calling their family every five minutes in Japan to check to see if they're okay after the tsunami thing. However, I am sure that you studying for your political science degree and reaching your epiphany is ten times more important than them calling to check to see if their family died after the tsunami thing. I mean, don't disregard the tens of thousands of people that are missing and tens of thousands of people that are dead because of the 8.9 earthquake that struck Japan or anything. I mean, that's not important, but your political science degree definitely is. Yeah. You know, two days after the earthquake, a little soon to be making a little bit of judgment on people calling home in the library. I don't think it really matters where they call. I think they can call inside the library, they can call outside the library, they can call on top of the library, they can call in your bedroom if they want to, and you can't do anything about it. Why? Because they may have lost someone who died in a horrible, horrible, horrible natural disaster, and unfortunately, you don't know what that's like, neither do I, because you have never lived through something like that, and they have, and that's not fair for you to comment on it. I, like, I, that just left me in total dismay, that you could just sit there and say that and then go, oh, well, I know it sounds bad. No, it doesn't sound bad. It is bad, and you're completely and totally ignorant, and I hope, 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 hope that these videos, these people's opinions, these people's views, I hope they all get to you, and I hope that they really make a difference on your views and your attitudes, and I know that you've already come out and made this statement, oh, I didn't, didn't mean it that way, well, you know what, some things there is only one way to take, and unfortunately this is one of them, you can't take Oh, all the Asian people come into the library and they're talking on their cell phones. You can only take that one way. You know? I'm sorry, but hate speech is hate speech. And it's always only going to be able to be seen as that. You're never going to be able to change hate speech for the better. And you know what? That's a good thing. You shouldn't be able to change hate speech around and make it seem like it's this good thing because it never will be. And I'm, I'm happy and proud to say that I live in Canada because... How often do you see videos congregating from Canada about hate speech, about different cultures? Not very often. Why? Because we're very multicultural here, and we respect other people. We respect their differences. And I'm not going to be completely and totally ignorant and say that we don't have any racist people here in Canada, because I know we do. I'm just saying that I think that a lot of people could learn from this video. A lot of people could learn from the different views and response being posted. Um, and I'm hoping that 
you know, this will kind of make a difference on how people see things. Because um, for the number of people who disliked Alexandra's Wallace's as video, there were still a decent number of people who liked it. Which, which is kind of scary to me. I mean, as a community, we should come together and and automatically notice that something is wrong with that. But unfortunately, that isn't what happened. I mean, the majority of people noticed that there was something wrong, but unfortunately, we still live in a time where people don't see that as wrong. And I'm hoping that when I have children, we live in a totally different time where they don't have to see that kind of thing. They don't have to be a subject to hate speech or a subject to racism because it's not right and it's not fair and it does hurt. So um, I guess I didn't keep it as short as I wanted to be. I mean, I guess five minutes is enough for racism and hate speech. But um, Alexandra Wallace, I hope you are getting these. I, I hope you are listening to them and I hope you are learning something from them. And I hope that the other students at UCLA are not as ignorant as you and I hope that you have given the Asian population a giant apology for your ignorance, especially to the Japanese people who have lost countless number of family members because I'm sure there are a few of them at your school who have it, and I'm sure they're incredibly insulted by your video. So I hope that they got the apology that they deserved from you. And um, I hope that everyone who goes to UCLA who is Japanese who has been affected by the earthquake and the tsunami. I hope that everything is okay for them and I hope that nothing bad has happened to them and that we are praying for you here in Canada and that we hope everything gets better for you. Um, Alexandra Wallace, you are ignorant and deserve to be educated. Thank you for listening and good night YouTube.